How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and in this video I have another mail day for you. We have a bunch of, of envelopes and also this package right here, which I'm going to open first. Because this one came like first and I've been holding off on opening this and I really want to see what the card inside looks like. Kind of crazy, like such a big package and there's only like one card inside. But anyways, let's try to cut this open, I suppose. Okay, finally. We have finally unboxed the card. There's just one more thing to do. Take it out and flip it around. It is, of course, this card right here. The Solgaleo and Lunala GX from Dream League. I've actually bought this from a shop where I've never bought before. And let's see. So they said this was rank A. Let me just show this off to you. Holy moly, this card looks beautiful. Yo, okay. And I actually got it for really, really cheap. If well, I paid what did I pay for this? Let me see. I paid 235 euros, 235 euros, and like right now, this card is easily 600. So I, I really got lucky there. I bought this like right before it got crazily expensive. But yeah, this seems good. The texture looks looks really good now the corner this corner right here seems to seems to have like some little blemish but you know that's about it that i can really tell centering seems to be good let me just do the the light test because i've seen there are like some new ways to like fake these cards so okay now this seems to be Seems to be that the light is passing through. Usually for English cards, that would be an indication that they're fake. But what people are doing, or what I've seen, is they like take a card that has like a symbol right here, like the single strike or whatever it is, and they like, I don't know, they print like some of these out and like tape it over so it looks like the real deal, but it actually isn't. But yeah, this looks really good. Not gonna lie. I do have the um the Zekrom, hang on. Let me put this into a into a sleeve before anything else happens. There we go. It's back safely in a sleeve. So I have this one. The the Reshiram and Zekrom GX. If you remember, I pulled this from my Dream League booster box. Which at the time, man, that also has gained a lot of value. But yeah, I have both of the cards that I really wanted from Dream League now, which is really cool. I actually wanted to pull this, but this is this is like the, the second best card I wanted to pull. So this is really cool. And I now got got the Solgaleo and Lunala. I actually do plan on on sending this into grading together with a few other cards, and mainly like of course this one. But that's a video for another day. Let's continue on with uh, the letters. So we have a really small one here. So let me just see where the cart is. Cart is like down here, so I can safely like cut right there and take this cart out. Come on, there we go. Okay, this is the Umbreon V, not the V Max. Although I do plan on on like purchasing the the Umbreon V Max as well at some point. But this is actually, this is really cool. Like this, I really like this card. Just the normal Umbreon V. Look at how beautiful this looks. Look at how beautiful this is. Man, oh man. This looks absolutely beautiful. So let me just see how much I paid for, for this. To see if we, if we got a good deal or, or not. We definitely got a... Got a good deal on this one. I mean, hello. I paid 235 euros and now it's like north of 600, which is ridiculous. Okay, so I paid 129 euros for this Umbreon. And the cheapest one available right now is 119. That's from the UK though, so I'd have to pay customs. And the cheapest in the EU is 125 and that's a PSA 8. Okay, well, hmm. I'd say we're taking a little bit of a loss here, but I think it's fine. Like a $5 loss, but I think it's fine. This card is amazing. I, I really like this card. Let's put that back in, in the sleeve. A 
one more alternate art to add to the collection. Um, let's see, this one should be... should be next. Let me just see where the card is. Right there. Let's cut it open. Right here. The Oh, there we go. That went all the way through. Very good. Let's see. Pull this out. Put this here. And then very... Very carefully do this. Well, I guess that's enough. Here we go, the next alternate art. The Sylveon V. The Sylveon V. Cut this and that. And then take it off. This way. How do I open this? Right here. Right, right here. I really love it when people send cards in like these little these little bags. Makes it makes it feel extra secure for some reason. Even though a top loader would probably be more than enough. And here we go with the Sylveon. I do believe the Sylveon is actually one of the the cheaper EV alternate arts that you can you can um, either pull or buy from from Evolving Skies. But this is still pretty cool. I mean, at some point I have to get all of them, right? So might as well start with this one too. This is really nice. I really really like this Sylveon. I did give it a pretty low um, low rank in my. In my ranking all the alternate arts video, I do remember. But it's kind of growing on me. It is kind of growing on me. Okay, let's do this one next. This one, this one is actually kind of funny. Um, this came all the way from, from Finland. And I actually thought it was lost in the mail for, for a hot second there. And I was about to be really upset. Oh, hang on, there is another piece of paper here, yeah. That has my address on it, so let me, like, get rid of that. And here we go. So yeah, I was actually worried it was it was lost in shipping, but it did show up in the end, and I'm really happy about this. It would be really upsetting, because the card in this one is, like, one of the more expensive cards that I ever bought. Like, singles. So that would have been really upsetting. I mean... You buy through Card Market and you 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 like use their trustee service. You're pretty much good to go. But still, it would suck. I mean, sure, I get the money back, but I would much rather have the card and not go through the trouble. Right. Most of these cards I haven't seen beforehand, so I'm actually really excited. That's like what I mean when I when I do these um, these mail day videos. Like I always try to. To like hold off i like i just want to unbox them like immediately oh come on it's kind of stuck why is it stuck okay let me just take there we go okay Whew. the giratina v and holy moly okay yo check this one out okay i actually ranked this pretty low in my in my ranking all the alternate arts as well seeing it in person though that's a whole different story though and the century i haven't seen this before and i just bought it like this which is something that i would usually never do because well this card was 300 actually let me see how much did i oh wait let me see how much i paid for the sylveon as well okay so for the sylveon i paid 77 and the cheapest offer right now is 78 so that's a that's a one dollar w that's a one dollar w and here is the giratina so i paid 300 like 300 even and the cheapest offer right now is 275 okay so that's a minus 25 l but you know what? It is what it is. I do have it now, and I'm really happy about this. And I do have to say, this is the second time I've bought cards from this shop in, in Finland. I've bought... What did I buy beforehand? Definitely the, the Mew VMAX. I think the Mew VMAX and the Celebi in, like, my last Mail Day video. And both of them actually look pretty good, and this one too. Like, their ranking definitely holds true. It is a, bit, a little bit curled, but that's... Completely normal, I'd say. That's not something that, like, deducts value in, in any meaningful way. Oh, man, what a mail day. It's not as many letters as last time, but boy, oh boy, the, the cards that we do have here are pretty insane. Let me zoom out a bit. 
There we go. So I can spread out the cards a bit more. I could do it like this because we do have one more letter left that we have to, to unbox this one. This is also one that has been lying around here for kind of a long time. Okay. All the way from Austria. Let's see. Add layers of protection. I actually have to get rid of this because that seems to be my invoice or something. And let's see. Okay. I kind of like this little, little... What is this? Pamphlet or whatever. This is a graded card, although I will crack it out of the case. And who? Okay. Let's see. So... Ta-da! Holy moly, the Charizard GX. Boy, oh boy. Okay, so for the Charizard GX, Charizard GX, um, I paid 380 euros for this. And the cheapest one right now is a Beckett 8.5 for 445 euros. So that's a that's a cheeky little 65 euro W. Now I do have to say um, a couple of things about this. I really like the slap, honestly. I really really like the slap. Although this company RGS, from what I can tell, from what I can understand, this is a German grading company. Although their site appears to be like down right now, they don't seem to be to be grading at the moment. And I have heard that people were having issues there's a lot of negative reviews on like trust pilot and whatever that people not people are not receiving their orders back or anything so i mean i don't know i can't confirm nor deny that nor deny those claims but i thought i'd mention it and the slabs of these are actually pretty cool so you have a a screw down case so these cases are actually pretty cool as you can see these are just held in with screws so opening them is really really easy so you would say, well, May, that, that just means you can switch out the card very easily. Um, no, you cannot. Because there's like a holographic seal. There's like a holographic seal all around the slab. So if you were to open this, you'd rip this. So there is no way to switch the card. But I don't know. I mean, it is a 9.5. It has a 9.5 in each category. Um, just look at the centering. It has a 9.5 in centering. Just look at the centering of the card. You're telling me this is a 9.5 centering? No, it isn't. That's kind of ridiculous. So I don't know how true that that one is. Um, the main reason I bought this though is, well, the same reason I bought the, the Sogaleo and Lunala. I will correct this out of the case and probably send it into CGC. Um, I have now officially had my, my shipping information. Like my order is now finally on the way back after four months which is kind of a long time, but I finally have it. We'll see when it gets here. I, I will make a video about it, but I guess that does it for this mail day. I don't have anything else here that I can unbox. Um, believe you me, this mail day was um, expensive enough as it is, as you can see here. Um, one more thing I wanted to say. The reason I bought this Charizard, I mean, obviously I wanted this for a really long time. I have the Charizard VMAX, the shiny one graded already in a CGC 9.5. I am hoping the Charizard V that I get back for my order is also a 9.5. And then this one I will also send in. Um, I did see a Twitter post about this. Apparently over in Japan, these are being bought. Bought by shops for like 800 euros. So I said, man, before those prices hit over here, I do have to buy this. And I can tell you, I mean, there's only one Beckett 8.5 available for 445 right now on card market. I think the prices of, of this card might go up in, in a little bit here. So I'm really happy I bought this one. Well, but anyways, as I said, that does it for this video. Um, if you enjoyed this, then a thumbs up would be very much appreciated. If you didn't, then give it a thumbs down. Um, tell me in the comments below what you didn't like so I can try to fix that for future videos. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I will see you in the next one. Peace, peace.